gentlemen, welcome to Quarantine Etiquette with Rob Butler, part three. For today's episode, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make the perfect gin and tonic. I'm going to be using two of my favourite gins. The first is Rock Rose, produced by very good friends of mine, Martin and Claire Murray. And this is made in one of the most northern parts of Scotland, in a place called Dunnet Bay. And it's absolutely delicious. The second gin of course comes from a castle. I mean, as the Royal Butler, it's all about castles and palaces. And this is from a castle called Gordon Castle, where they produce this excellent gin. When I make these two gins, I'm going to do two different variations. One is going to be a pink gin, and the other will be a more traditional gin. And now I'm going to demonstrate this. The first drink we're going to do is the pink gin and tonic. For this, obviously, we need a glass and some Angostura bitters, which, as you'll see, has got the Royal Warrant, so if it's good enough for the Queen, it's certainly good enough for us. I'm going to put a couple of drops into the glass, like that. And then the idea is we're going to spin it round the glass to get a covering the whole way round. So the idea is you've got something like that. Then you're going to get a couple of ice cubes. This is just so that when you pour the gin into the glass, it already chills it. I use my Scottish uh, tot glass, uh, as I like to call it. This is the measure that I like to use. So I'm going to just pour that in like there. And then lastly, some tonic water. This has of course got quinine in it, which at one time was known to be very good for uh, fevers. And let's not forget, gin has always been said to have medicinal purposes. Whether that's true or not, I couldn't comment, but I enjoy having one most evenings. And then we're going to cut a slice of lemon. Try to make sure that you don't have any pips, because that's obviously quite annoying when you get a pip in your drink. And there is the perfect pink gin and tonic. Cheers! Our next gin and tonic is the more traditional gin and tonic using a, a botanical gin. So for this we need a couple of pieces of ice. I normally try to use two or three cubes. And then we'll put a measure of gin into my little top glass. A tonic. These cans are absolutely perfect because you get just the right, just the right amount. And then we're going to add a little bit of garnish, which is some rosemary here. And the reason we're using this is it's a botanical gin, as I mentioned, and it helps bring out the, the flavours. Uh, so it's quite, in fact, it's something they actually recommend you do. So I might put another piece in there. And there we have a very traditional, if I can say Scottish, gin and tonic. These drinks look absolutely perfect, but then they would do because they've been poured by the Royal Butler. I'm now going to go and offer them to my guests. Sir, madam, your drinks. Enjoy. Uh, sir, ma'am, please remember that when you enjoy these drinks, you, you sip and we don't slurp, yes? Wonderful, very good. Carry on. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something quite special for those of you who would like to try these gins. So if you visit the Dunnet Bay Distillers website, which is where you can purchase your bottle of Rock Rose Gin, in the purchase notes, please enter Royal Butler and you will receive a free 
gin glass. And if you go to the Gordon Castle shop website when purchasing a bottle of the Gordon Castle gin, in the shop just enter under the discount section Royal Butler 10 and you will get 10% off your bottle of gin. Now how about that for a very special couple of offers? Thank mm -hmm. you.